In the following examples, we are asked to find the exact trigonometric function value of two different functions. The first one is the sine of negative 2400. So this one is a really nice problem because what we first must do is we need to find what's called a coterminal angle. So what is a coterminal? Well, a coterminal is an angle that is basically the same. It, it, it starts and ends at the same point as this, but it differs by a factor of 360 degrees. So it's just rotationally the same. It starts and ends at the same point, but it's a different number value uh, because you rotated so many times. So what we want to do, we don't know anything about negatives just yet, negative angles. So what we're going to do is we're going to say, okay, then let's figure out what um, the positive coterminal would be. Once we figure that out, we're going to use our knowledge of reference angles to figure out sine, cosine, and so forth using what I call our handy dandy calculator. So this is going to serve as our calculator. Okay, we're not actually going to use a calculator, we're going to use this table of values. And these are actually really nice if you have all of these memorized. And really, you could get away with just memorizing these right here. And if you know these right here, then you could easily figure out these right here because they're simply the reciprocals of some of the values that are in here. Okay. So let's go ahead and take a look first. But before we do that, let's also point out something interesting about this chart. The interesting thing here, ASTC, means all students take calculus. This is another mnemonic to remember where sine, cosine, and tangent are positive. In this quadrant, all of the functions, sine, cosine, tangent, and their cousins, cotangent, secant, cosecant, all of them are positive. Here, sine and its cousin, cosecant, are positive. Here, tangent and its cousin, cotangent, are positive. And here, this is where cosine and its cousin, secant, are positive. All students take calculus. So we're going to use this in just a second to kind of help answer this question. So let's see. If I have negative 2400 degrees, I'm going to add 360 because I want to get a positive value. So I'm going to add 360 several times, all right? And I'll let you figure that out, all right? So if you want to pause right now, you can pause. But just add 360 until you get the first positive value. Okay, so what it turns out is that you need to multiply 7 times 360 degrees, so you're going to do 7 rotations to get a positive value, 120 degrees. But if you notice, our chart is only for 30, 45, and 60. 120 is not on there. So by reference, so 120 is somewhere in this quadrant. All right, so we need the reference angle for 120, so we're going to say 180 minus 120. So the sine of negative 2400 is equivalent to the sine of 120, which is equivalent to the sine. And so if 120 is in here, by reference, 180 minus 120 is 60. So the sine then of 60 degrees is what we are looking for. Okay, so just take a look at that. If you don't quite understand, pause and rewind. All right, now we're going to pull out our calculator here, and the sine of 60 degrees is this value right here, which is the square root of 3 over 2. All right, so the answer here for the sine of negative 2400 degrees is going to be the square root of 3 over 2. All right, this is all based on coterminal angles, and then a reference angle. So we get this right here, really quite simple. All right, now we're going to do one more. Oh, and by the way, I forgot to mention, sine, since we were in this quadrant with 120, sine is positive, so that's why this is positive. So let's see what happens with cosine here. So in this case, cosine, we're going to need to subtract to get something smaller. 
something maybe along these lines, but if not, we'll find a reference. So we're going to subtract 360. So if you'd like to pause and subtract, go ahead. Now's the time to do so. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to subtract, and in this case, again, by coincidence, purely coincidence, we're going to subtract uh, 367 times, and we're going to get 240 degrees. All right, now 240 degrees falls in this quadrant right here. So what we're going to do is say 240 minus 180 by reference. And unfortunately, again, it's just a coincidence. This will be the cosine then of, let's see here, 240 degrees. Okay, and by reference, it's going to be the cosine of 60 degrees. All right, but just remember, all students take calculus. Since 240 was in this range right here, cosine is negative. So we need the negative cosine, the negative cosine of 60. And if you just look at the cosine of 60, cosine 60, it's 1 over 2. So it's just negative 1 over 2. So the answer for the cosine of 2,760 degrees is going to be the negative 1 half that we got from the negative cosine of 60. So cosine 60 again is 1 half, but because it's in this quadrant, in this quadrant, quadrant 3, uh, cosine here is negative. Only tangent and cotangent there are positive. So this is the answer for this one. So again, just to recap, remember all students take calculus. This is where the trig functions are positive. All right. In order to compute this, we first had to find a coterminal angle. And once we found a coterminal, since it wasn't acute, since it wasn't something that was available on our calculator here, we had to, uh, by reference, find the value. And that's what we did in both of these. So we found a coterminal and then the reference.